Welcome to the Red Centre of Australia. We've been on a road trip, me and Mac. We've driven from WA across the Nullar border, Melbourne. Now we've come up here to see Uluru and Katajuka. Big mighty boulders right in the Red Centre. Beautiful landscape. Now what we want to do is something different. We want to do a loop trip of Australia. So what we're choosing to do is drive across from this beautiful Red Centre over here on the longest dirt road in Australia, in this thing. You can see it sitting low at the back. We've done lots of work. We've done the uh, struts have been changed on it. Like, we found a car on the side of the Nullum Bore. We've got a new bumper on the back of it. Found a guy in Adelaide, got a set of extractors, so it breathes a bit better. Just getting it running a bit better. So we found little bits of componentry as we've been moving. Now we're gonna see if this mobile can do this road. First stop, Docker River, then we're going across to Laverton, then heading towards down the coast and into Perth. So the first things first, for safety, I'm pretty mechanically minded. First things first, we're gonna let the tires down to 30 PSI. It's the best we could do for a vehicle like this with low profile tires. So yeah, that's where we're gonna start. See you soon. One of those few places right now, I mean, one, two, third gear, pushing 40, low RPM for decent sized RPMs to bypass this. Lots of rock, but the thing is, the rocks mix with sand, so it makes that a little bit more tricky. But around here, you can see beautiful landscape. It's fucking magnificent. Like, this is Australia. We're in the heartland of Australia. This is, this is the red center. We're passing through Peterman Aboriginal uh, Reserve and we're on our way to Docker River and it's a real beautiful country to be driving through like this. This is what we'll find a lot of I've heard down these roads. Cars that have just tipped off the side of the road, basically they've either lost the tyre or the tyres popped off because of this rocky terrain. We've got good driving experience, not just city driving experience. No, you need to drive, understand this earth, this look, it's hard now. Then you get bits which are sandy and that dust away, and the bits that are rocky, you've got to understand your car and your vehicle. Here we are down at Junti, Lassiter's Cave. It's on the, the Great Central Road. It's like one of the last stops, or it's one of the only stops before we get to the next town of. What is the name of the next town again? Ducker River. Basically what Lasseter had done, he, um, he, he was fabled to have found this like reef full of gold. So what he'd done was he, he came back and he researched for it and he discovered nothing. So this is the cave where basically in his last dying days, he sat, like 25 days I think he spent in this cave, but he died just east of here. A few people since then have found to, claimed to have found this Lassiter's Reef, full of gold, and myth or legend, we'll see what it's about. So this is it, Lassiter's Cave. You can see the burn marks of like the soot from the fires that have been placed down here. You can see a fireplace coming in here. You can see like fire was crowded down here, all the carbon burn off. Spiders and stuff make their homes here, and probably various other things. And whether this was a place where uh, the natives used to come back in the days and shelter themselves. It looks like a pretty damn good place to do that. Although now it just smells like urine. You reckon it's urinated? Or bats. Batinated. Mm. Batted, batted urinated. But it's a pretty nice little place and he spent his 25 days here overlooking this little river here. And there may or may not have been some water. You can see there's some parched puddles down here. This is a great little river system which would have... But he only had 1.7 litres of water. So it would have been hard but it's... It's good to come across these places like, you know, on the Great Central Road, like one of the only stops that we're going to come across. But this is the beauty about coming through Australia and you find these hidden gems. If only we could find the gold. Obviously, you know that we're in a two-wheel drive car, which is low. It's sand. 
So when you reach points of sand, if you don't keep up moment, momentum, motion to go through it in nice, you know, nice quick, nice reps, you'll bog out. So we got up to here and dip back, reverse back. But you can see how soft the sand is. Now what we're gonna do to get through this, we've got to check the land first, the gradient of the land. It's red center sand, dead soft. It looks like here though we could go up around the edge. Dingo tracks here too. Come check out this. Dingo tracks. Awesome. But if we go around this outer edge and we sort of gun it, I reckon we should make it. You want to give it a go? Let's give it a go. Let's do it. Should be right. You got so close to that sign. I was like, oh god. That was scary. Sign. I was just gunning it. Third gear. Just kicking it in. Whew. Fuck. Alright. Okay, there's that section done. Action. So that's it. Of that part of the journey. Now they say the Western Australia, West Australian side gets a bit better. But from what we just went through, like there's big chunky bits of like gravel, like railroad gravel. And with this small low profile car, you gotta drive really slow. So now what we've got, as you look down here, is gravel. Tires shredded all down this road. So I'm hoping, they say the West Australian side gets better. We could only pray that it gets better. As long as you don't reach any more sandy sections and it's a bit more smoother and evenly graded, we should be right, <laughs> but let's see how we go. Okay, this is the original gun barrel construction grader, which graded the road that we're driving on. And just a little re-up of like a recap of yesterday, when we reached from the West Australian, from the Northern Territory to the West Australian, the start of the West Australian is pretty bad for the first 60 Ks, but then it starts getting better the closer we get to Laverton and such. Like right now, last night we stayed at a nice little campsite, so here we're at the uh, like a, it's a weather station. So we're gonna go find out more about this place. So we've just got ourselves a flat and also you can see here, there's a big buckle from hit one of these bloody rocks down this road. There's shit loads of them. So now because the road, this is on the WA side, it's not the best, it is better than Northern Territory side. But what we're gonna use is this Super X. We made sure we got it before leaving. And basically, we just place it into the tire, like this, onto the valve. After shaking the can up, and there we go. You can hear that come out, and we just release. And what that does is put a foam into the tire and also inflate the tire at the same time. And this should inflate like enough. It's like you know the stuff that you use in um in uh in houses to fill in the gaps, so like no more gaps. There you go. It seals starts filling up now. But I'm gonna have to stop talking until we get to the next sound because we're running out of battery. When you're on these long journeys, always make sure you bring a jerry can. We're found here on the Great Central Road, like through wiki camps, you find amazing camps. You also find these places. We find found numbers and the such. And here's a cave system with like sun roofs shining through it. And these are dotted all through Australia and to, just to be in a place and a space in order to find something like this and just to realize how great and beautiful this land and this country is that we have. Wow, good place to explore. So we've finally made it to the end of this journey in Labrador. The world's long, oh sorry. Should I keep going? Yeah, just start again. So we've finally made it here to Lavender of Australia's longest shortcut. We went straight through the guts of Australia. As you can see, and also you can see in the video, you can see the changing and the variance of the landscape and the, the just 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 everything about Outback Australia is on this long road. It's totally different than doing the Nullarbor, but it's also a tough way, especially doing it in this little two-wheel drive. I wouldn't say for anyone to do it in a two-wheel drive, but it was definitely an adventure and we went through some tough times. 
but it's beautiful and it's totally worth it. And what you'll find out there is some, some beautiful Australia, golden Australia. Take care until next time. Tuuru. These are the joys. If your car breaks down, in the middle of nowhere, you get a chance to skate with it. It's pretty cool. The fuel filter's gone. So we're gonna skate into this BP, change the fuel filter, figure things out, and we'll go from there. The joys of road travel. Woo!